guys, welcome to today's video. So today I am finally reviewing The Ordinary's 100% Organic Virgin Sea Buckthorn Fruit Oil. Now several months ago I did say that I was curious about this product and that I wanted to pick it up, try it out, and of course give you guys a review. Now I've had this product for quite some time and I kept putting this video off for many different reasons and I will let you know that in this video, but the number one reason that I have put it off is because I don't know how to make this oil work in my skincare routine and if you've tried this oil before you may already know where I'm going at with this it is definitely an oil that I have never ever used before so if you're curious on finding out what I have to say about this product in particular make sure to keep on watching but before we go right into it if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell by doing so you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video and I do upload videos every single week. So again, this is The Ordinary's 100% Organic Virgin Sea Buckthorn Fruit Oil. Now this is a great oil to incorporate if you have signs of dehydration, signs of aging, if you have inflammation. This is also going to promote skin health and this is also an antioxidant support product as well. And I like a really good product that targets signs of aging and that promotes skin health. And that's why I wanted to try this. Now, now, again, this is definitely an oil that I have never tried before, and the reason being is the coloring of this product. So this is not an added dye that's in here, this is all natural. And as you can see, it's a nice reddish orange hue, it's a beautiful color, but when you apply this to the face, it's a different story. And if you've ever tried this product, I am sure you know what I'm gonna say with this because this is definitely an oil that stays this color once you've applied it to your face. So I am not going to be demoing this product on my face today. I actually haven't used this in a little while because when you apply this to your face, you actually get a staining effect on your face after you've rinsed it off. And the times that I have used this, I've had a orange hue to my skin for at least a day and a half to two days. And of course, when you go and put makeup on top, you don't see it, but when you don't have makeup on, you have this orange hue to your skin because this has basically dyed your skin. And I am not really for that. I am really not for that at all. But this really is a great product that does give you hydration and moisture. And this really does make your skin super soft and it does feel nourished. So I do like how this does what it says it's supposed to do but I don't like the coloring of this and I don't like how it stains my skin. This is just a product that I am unsure about and that is okay. I may not like everything that I try and of course I wanna let you know whether I like or don't like something. But I do wanna let you know that this is full of omegas. This is full of great ingredients that are naturally found in the sea buckthorn berry. So the ingredients that are in here are so great for your skin and if you can make this oil work I would recommend this I really would and I have tried this many different ways and I just can't seem to make it work on my skin so the very first time that I received this I was so excited to try it number one the coloring of it was pretty cool and I had heard so many great things about it as well so after I washed my face I did put on a couple of serums because you do want to apply your water-based serums before and then you can apply this to your skin by itself and then a moisturizer after or you can mix a couple of drops of this into your moisturizer and apply it to your face. So I have done it both ways but if you apply this by itself the coloring that you get on your face you literally look like a pumpkin. It's absolutely crazy. It's crazy the way you look afterwards and then you go and put a moisturizer on top and it really doesn't subside. It does stay that color until you rinse your face off again. Now even when you go and wash your face off you still have that little tinge to your skin especially if you apply this by itself. I feel like you get more of an orange tinge that is left over after you've washed your face. So The Ordinary does recommend for you to use this ideally at nighttime because of that reason, 
but you also need to be careful because this will actually stain clothing. It will stain fabric. And when I went to bed with this on, it did stain my pillowcase. It did stain my sheets as well. Now, it did wash out in the wash machine, which was really good. I did have to wash it twice to get the color out, but it did come out. Now, I am not for that. I don't want to be using products and then go to bed and have staining on my sheets and my pillowcase. And I also don't want this to get in my hair, which it did. And I always like to sleep with my hair up in a bun or in a ponytail and I did notice around my hairline area that I did have orange looking hair. I have also applied just one drop of this into a moisturizer and you still get that reddish orange tone to your face, especially until you wash your face again. And that's from my experience. Every time I've gone to bed with this on, it has transferred. Now I find the only way for me to use this, especially to use up this product, and I do want to use it up. This really is a great product. It makes my skin feel incredible and it feels nice and nourished. But the only way for me to use this is that at night time I wash my face, I make sure my makeup and my sunscreen is completely removed, then I like to apply a few drops of this into a moisturizer, and it doesn't matter what moisturizer you use, apply it to your face, apply a little bit down your neck if you want to, and then leave it on for a couple of hours. And then just before you go to bed, rinse your face off and then go in with your serums and your products and then go to bed. That way you're not going to bed with this on and you're not going to have the chance of this transferring onto your sheets and you're also not going to get the staining as if you were to leave this on all night long as well. So if you were to leave this on all night you are going to see better results in your skin but you're still gonna get results with just leaving this on for a couple of hours as well. And I would rather do that than leave this on all night long. So this is meant for all skin types, but if you do have those skin concerns like I mentioned with dehydration, signs of aging, inflammation, and you want something to promote skin health, then this is a great product to incorporate for those skin concerns. Now this does retail at $14.90 Canadian, and I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand. Now this does have omega-7 and fatty acids in here, and I'm going to put my sleeve back here because I don't want it to get on my clothing and I will do one drop because you're going to see how intense this color is with just one drop. So it does look like that there. It's a beautiful shade. I really like it. It's really fun but when you spread it across the skin it does go like an orangey yellow. Now it's showing yellow on camera but in person it is more of an orange tinge and this does have a natural scent to it as well which is very earthy and I kind of like that scent. But this color is pretty intense and that's only one drop for my hand. So to do your face you will need to apply a few more drops especially into a moisturizer but this is what I'm talking about. So this oil does absorb pretty quickly into the skin but you are left with this hue on your face and then you go to bed with it and then it transfers onto your sheets and then it does get into your hair as well. So if you can make this oil work then I would definitely incorporate this in your skincare routine. And if you have this oil, please let me know how you use this and how you eliminate the transferring onto sheets and the staining left over on the skin. I can't seem to figure it out other than leaving it on for a few hours and then washing it off. But that is the color for you right there. So I am gonna go wash my hand before it starts to stain my skin. So I did just go wash my hand, but I did want to show you the difference in my skin tone here. So this was the hand that I applied the oil to, and of course this is the hand that I did not. But I just want to show you the difference in tones, as this already has a staining effect on it. So I probably only had the oil on for maybe two minutes just to film that clip for you guys, and you can already see the difference in my skin. So I'm hoping that you can see that because I can definitely notice the difference. If you are applying more drops and you are leaving it on overnight, that tone will be intensified. This staining will be a lot darker. This really is minor right now because of the amount that I put. But if the staining doesn't bother you, then that is fine. I just thought that I would share how this does stain the skin. 
and this does have a six month shelf life once you have opened up the product. So if you are somebody that doesn't wear makeup, you may not necessarily want to pick this up unless you don't mind that tinge and you can find a way to make this work. And if that's the case, then I would encourage you to pick this up. So if you do plan on wearing this overnight, I would recommend to apply this a couple of hours before going to bed to allow this to dry down and to soak into your skin. And if you want to apply this like I do, where you leave it on for a couple of hours and then rinse it off and go to bed, then that is also okay. So it really is a personal preference when it comes to this oil and how you use it. But at the end of the day, this oil really isn't for me. So that is everything in today's video and I really hope that you found this review helpful. Again, if you've used this oil before and you love it and you found a way for it not to transfer and to stain the skin, please leave your comments below. I would love to hear your feedback as I really do like this oil but I'm not sure if I will repurchase it because of the staining. So please let me know your thoughts. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I honestly really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in my next video. So take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.